Good morning, my name is Yasser. I'm a graduate research assistant in civil engineering in Zoria SNT. I'm going to talk today about our company Crunch Pillow. We are making people crash as soft as a pillow. The problem we are trying to solve is crunch happens all the time, either on a large scale crashes or small scale crashes. If we look on the major problem, collision is the third highest cause of bridge failures in the United States. We have over 150 bridge failures due to collision in the last 20 years. Actually, a couple of days ago, there was a bridge collapse in Tennessee in I-75, which was due to a truck hitting the bridge, uh, shearing a large portion of the bridge on the road. These such crashes resulted in huge human losses and hundreds of millions of dollars spent every year on the repair and reconstruction of such bridges. On the other hand, uh, car owners in the crowded cities have a daily problem with parking their cars in very crowded uh, parking lots or spaces, uh, so they always get their car bumper damaged. I myself had this bad experience. I used to live in a crowded city. I used to live in a 15-story building with over 40 apartments. Each apartment has from two to three cars, and we have very limited number of parking spots. One of my neighbors, whenever he parks his car, he keeps moving backward and forward until he hit both cars, the car in front of him and the car behind him. I fixed my bumper like three times, then I ended up parking my car far away from my home to keep it safe. Yeah. I wish I could have something that can protect my car. The solution we are proposing, we developed a unique uh, panel that can dissipate up to 70% of the impact energy once it uh, involved in the crash. This panel uh, has a certain profile which is manufactured using 3D printed. It can be manufactured on two different scales, like small scale to be used as a car bumper protector on the, your bumper. You can install it behind your license plate, so whenever someone hits you, these panels will be compressed and dissipates 70% of the impact energy, so it protects both cars. Or it can be manufactured on a large scale panels and installed on bridge girders and columns, so whenever you have a truck hitting your bridge, these panels will compress and dissipate the energy and protect both the bridge structure and the truck driver. To illustrate more on the concept of how it works, imagine a person jumping directly to the ground. All the impact energy is reversed back to his body, so he feels a lot of pain. Versus another one jumping on water balloon. So the water balloon dissipates his energy and he doesn't feel any pain. As a startup company, now we are focusing on the car bumper protector. We want to learn how to walk before we run, so we want to get this product in the market then go after the large scale panels for the highway. Most of our competitors now in the market, uh, none of them use the concept of energy dissipation. Most of them use the concept of material absorption. So they depend on the material absorption properties to absorb some of the energy. Our system dissipates the energy, so it's more effective and it can be used up to 100 crashes, so it's usable. You don't need to change it every time you have a crash. One of the available products, uh, like the four pumpers, it's a steel frame with steel ring beams. Whenever someone hits you, all the energy is reversed back to his bumper, so you can end up damaging his bumper. And it's illegal in some uh, countries. <laughs> Our customers, we have two main customer segments. The first one is the car owners in crowded cities, like New York City have over 5 million car owners. The second uh, segment is commercial car fleets and dealerships. Uh, in the US, there are 1.8 million rental cars, so it's a huge market for us. If we were able to sell to a car fleet manager, it would be a great opportunity. This is our market size. If we consider the top 10 crowded cities like Chicago and New York City, if we target only car owners, it will be around 50 million, and it will be much, much higher if we consider car fleet managers and dealerships. Our market plans, we have two different marketing plans. The first one is business to customer marketing plan. We will have our own website. We will have video demonstration to show you whenever you receive your product, how to install it in your car without the need to go to a dealership. We also will uh, run some ads on social media channels like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, we are planning to sell directly from our website and through sales channels like Amazon and eBay. And also we will run a lot of ads on these channels. We will have some uh, ads on billboards on the highway, so whenever you are stuck in a high traffic, you can see our product and know why it's different compared to the available products in the market. The other marketing plan is business to business, so we will have our 
sales crew going out talking to uh, team uh, car fleets managers and dealership. Uh, anyone who go and get a new car, your dealer offers you some car accessories. So uh, our product will be one of these car accessories that you can add to your car deal for an extra hundred or hundred and fifty dollars, uh, and you will offer them some discounts on the bulk orders. This is our financial plan. Uh, as you can see, the first two years we may not have the enough funding to go after the car fleets and dealerships, so we will focus only the first two years on the car owners. Starting from the third year, we will focus uh, on uh, car fleets, managers, and dealerships. Uh, we will have already a product in the market. Uh, people already get to know our product, and we have a good reputation, so the dealerships will already hear about our product and will be interested in getting it. Uh, as you can see, there is uh, a lot of expenses on the R&D. Most of these expenses will go for the development of the large scale panels that we are aiming to do for the highway uh, administration, the large scale panels for the bridges. Um, the, how are we going to use the funds? We were lucky enough to get the $10,000 from uh, Missouri s and from the first round. Uh, the next day we won the $10,000, uh, I placed an order for our full prototype of the car compact protector. I was very excited to uh, place the order and received it just yesterday, so this is our first full prototype out of the money we got from the first round. Uh, the second round, if we are lucky enough to get the prize, we will use most of it for the marketing and building a small inventory so we can start directly selling to our customers. Our milestones, we started with like, we spent over 15,000 on the developing of the pre-prototype, like the panels is consists of multiple of these single pre-prototype, we tested multiple shapes of this pre-prototype, uh, pre and then we got the first full prototype of the pumper protector, we filed a provisional patent application, we interviewed over 35 customers, most of them are daily commuters and some of them are federal highway agencies who seem very interested in getting the large scale panels and install it on the bridge structure so they can limit or reduce the number of millions of dollars spent every year. Our team, I'm Yasser, I'm the founder of Crunch Pillow. Uh, I have five years experience in structural research and testing. I have one patent vending and I have a master's degree in structural engineering. My team partner is Dr. El Gawadi. He has over 20 years experience in structure research and testing. He received funding over $10 million in different research projects and he has three vending patents. Our advisor is Quentin. He is uh, vice president of Missouri Innovation Center. He is helping us to start our company and put our product in the market. One of the main key hires we are looking, we are looking for is a marketing professional who will lead our uh, marketing campaigns. I have a video demonstration. This is one of our testing of our uh, pre-prototypes. We tested a piece of glass under impact loading once without our pre-prototype and once with our pre-prototype. This is without. So as you can see, the impact energy is went directly to the glass, so it breaks it. While whenever we install our pre-prototype on the piece of glass, it will dissipate the energy and protect the glass from breaking. Thank you so much, I will be happy to answer your question. What is your cost to manufacture? The full prototype, this one, will cost us around from 20 to 30 dollars. And what are you expecting to sell it for? 100 or 150. Uh, we, uh, like the sales channels like Amazon and eBay, will charge us 20% of our final price, so it will depend, uh, maybe we are going to sell it through our website, much cheaper than the sales channel. So it's 100 for the one in the front and also one in the back of the individual? Individually. Okay. Also, we, it's customized, so some of the cars in the back bumper, there is like a groove inside, so it will be customized according to your car. <coughs> and it's 3D printed, so we can just throw the model on AutoCAD and print it and that's it. Qualify for us, you know, the energy dissipation of your prototype. Is it a 30 mile an hour collision? Is it a 5 mile an hour bump? Now we have different profile. It depends on the like the profile of the shell itself. We can control the thickness and the height. 
uh, using an equation. Uh, it depends on, like, we will put a range from 5 miles per hour up to 15 miles per, uh, per hour for our products. For the large scale panels that we're going to use for the bridge uh, structure, it will be much bigger and it will take more energy because, like, the forces is much, much higher. Can they be manufactured in different colors? Yeah, we can manufacture in different colors. We can also, like, some people will not be, um, need to put it behind the license plate, so we can manufacture four of them in the corners, so it's uh, customizable. You can order whatever you want. So is there a difference in how the product works from a direct collision versus an angular? Yeah, now it uh, can work uh, like directly, but now we are also developing, now uh, we are doing some research, we are printing the same uh, revolver but with different angles, so it will take the head from 90 degree, 30 degree and 60 degrees. Because whenever we interviewed the customers, some of them uh, told us, can we put it on the corner of our pumpers? We told them, yeah, we can, it's, you just draw the model, adjust it and you can install it according to your uh, requirements. Do most bumpers on the new, newer cars, do they support the 15 mile an hour hit? Or? Some of them, the steel ones do, like the big for the trucks, the pickup trucks, the steel ones can take this energy. But the problem with the steel, it's not dissipating energy, it's just reversing the energy. So you can protect your car, but you will end up damaging the other car. Our system just will compress and protect both cars. 